All right, I'm gonna run through these kind of fast today because there's a lot of houses to see and I only have like two hours. <laughs> We're in Bixby and this home is $850,000. It's 4,086 square feet, four bedrooms, five bathrooms, three car garage on the other side and it's on 0.37 acres. As always, let me know what you guys think in the comments about this house. I do want to draw attention to these sconces over here. So cool. I like the size. They really match the house well. And then you've also got the inset windows, which actually some people have said they don't like, but I'm a fan. I, I don't hate them. Really nice entryway here to this gorgeous double glass door. I don't know if this is an iron door, but I think it is, but it's really heavy. I don't know exactly what it's made out of. Right inside here, you have this gorgeous beams and you have an office right to the right with a fireplace. Can't go wrong. I love the detailing all the way to the ceiling. You have an accent wall there, lots of lighting. You have your wine cabinet right off the kitchen. Love that. Here's your living space. Huge room, love the floors and the beams. Take a look at that fireplace. I love the white stones. All the way to the ceiling. You also have inset built-in shelves, which is nice. Loads of space. Let's head outside real quick. Outside you have this massive patio. Great for entertaining. You do have a ceiling fan out here, which is nice. And can lights. Obviously this is a new construction neighborhood, so there's some homes still being built. Good sized yard. You could definitely get a pool in if you needed. And let's head on back into the kitchen. Love the kitchen. I like the these are kind of a, a combination. You've got the dangly ones and the box. That's new. Huge fridge there. You've got a gas range. Excuse me, mom. Mm -hmm. Love the... These are granite, aren't they? Are these marble? Um, what is this? Um, what is quartz? 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 I don't know. It's quartz. Quartzy. <laughs> I like the gold accent on the handles. And then you have this gorgeous farm size sink with the matching the hardware there. Let's go this way. We have a wet bar kind of, or not wet bar, like a um, butler pantry kind of situation with the microwave. Here's one of the bedrooms. There is full bath right there. Good size closet. Here's your mud room. And we'll check out the garage. Like I said, I'm going fast guys. I have a lot of houses to get to and not enough time. <laughs> Huge garage there. Let's head over to the master. You have your half bath right here, right off the backyard, which is nice if you do put in a pool or something, or even if you don't, the kids have a place to come in without tracking mud through the house, which is always nice. Here's the laundry which is connected to the master with that snooze feature that I've talked about in other videos. Love the cabinetry. Look at this closet, you guys. Loads of space. Again, I'm always a fan of the island in the closet because you got a place to kind of get ready for the day or if you're going on vacation, you can throw your suitcase up there and it's all in one room. Love all these built-ins for your shoes. Let's head around into the, oh, also, there's a built-in bench right there, which is really nice. Look at this master bathroom. Oh my gosh. Love the soaker tub. Biggest shower you've ever seen. You do have a built-in seat as well. And you have the shelving in there, which is nice. I like the detailing ribbon on the wall there. And then you have another um, shower wand situation over here if you need that. That would be great actually for wash it, washing the dogs um, as well. Huge glass door on the shower. You have the dual vanities. So you have a bigger one here, a little bit smaller. Over here, I love the under lighting. It's a really nice feature. Your linen closet or linen, well, 
it's not really a closet, linen cabinets. Um, I even love the accent on the ceiling there. Really nice feature. And here is your master bedroom. Love the accent wall, gorgeous. You've got um, speakers in the ceiling for that surround sound. And let's head on upstairs. Okay, upstairs here you've got a game room. Huge room. You also have another kitchenette up here, which is really nice. You get your mini fridge right in there. I love that black. I'm going to say that's granite because it looks like granite. But, you know, granites and quartz, they start to look similar after a while. <laughs> I love this other little inset area. And then over here, you've got a full bathroom. Love the tiles all the way to the ceiling. Really good job on the vanity there. Got a bedroom here. I'm assuming that's a closet. I don't know. Oh, yep, yeah, closet. You have walkout attic space. Nope, just kidding. <laughs> that's the other side of the bathroom. I actually haven't been up here yet, so I'm just winging it with today's video. And then I believe this is going to be... Here's your attic space. I was close. Lots of walkout space. Love that. If you've watched my videos, you know how I feel. Nothing compares. If you've had pull down attic space and then you have walkout space, you're ruined for life. You're never going to go back. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this house. I'm going to rush off to the next one. Uh, don't forget, like and subscribe for more home tours, real estate tips, all the good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.